Arsenal. Not many footballing fans don't know that name. But the badge you've just seen isn't that of the North London outfit, but rather that of Arsenal de Sorandi in Argentina. Despite the name, this is a club with its own identity and history. So join me in this video as we take a look at the other Arsenal, located over 7,000 miles away from North London. So before we get to a game, here's a brief background on the club. Formed in 1957, the club has its origins in the Buenos Aires neighbourhood of Sarandi, which is a short train journey south of the city centre. However, it is said that 14 years previously, a team was unofficially formed in the neighbourhood and became a usual team for local lads to play in. And it's this team that are said to have picked the name Arsenal in homage to the famous North London club, who before the Second World War were viewed as pioneers of an ever-developing game, especially in the way they played. And this original Arsenal in the area was around for a number of years, but eventually faded away. However, its memory would still hold in the memory of many locals, and this memory would spawn into a new official club in 1957, in which they decided to carry on with the famous name. Brothers Julio and Hector Grandona, the former of which would later become president of AFA, the Argentinian Football Association, finally registered a team in this year and paid homage to the local legend. However, unlike the name, Arsenal Sarandi did decide to change one thing, the colours of their shirts, decided to play in a blue and red striped kit, colours they still don today. By 1961, the club was officially affiliated to the Argentinian Football Association and began playing in what is now the country's fifth division. However, it wasn't until 2002 when the club would achieve the feat of promotion to the Premier Division. Just five years later, the club won the Copa Sudamericana, South America's second tier competition. And a few years later in 2012, the club won their sole first division title that was followed up shortly by a Super Cup and Copa Argentina victory. But anyway, let's get to the stadium, and by first impressions, I must say it's slightly different to its North London counterpart. So we're just going to get straight into the game here as there was music playing in the background so I couldn't record anything before it started. So just about to kick off now, of course not many people here and it's starting at 2 o'clock on a Thursday afternoon so as you can imagine not many have been able to show up but still some people. So there's literally no one in this part of the stand beside me as you can see uh, where Arsenal are attacking towards this end so I switched sides from where I was just when the video started there. Game's going on here. At least there's a band making some kind of noise, but you can tell this is a local club. You know, everyone in the stand knows each other, and it is just so interesting being at a club called Arsenal as well. A lot different to the Emirates, as we said, but yeah, it's super interesting being here. So I actually think there's so few people in the stand, literally like two others, that if the ball comes out, uh, I've just become the honorary ball boy. <laughs> so let's see if that happens. Let's see if I get a chance to throw a ball back to a player here. That'd be a quite interesting thing. Unfortunately, my services weren't called upon. And while I was moving back to the side where the atmosphere was, this happened. said the game's actually at two o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon but just look over at these fans here still here still making noise it's great to see these are the kind of things you see in Argentina that despite these terrible times for games the fans still show up and make the noise for the team So at half time I actually saw a sight that I had not seen in Argentina before so someone was putting up flags from I presume the World Cup and someone put up an England flag. First time I've seen that flag in the country.
and to make this experience a bit more bizarre, a penalty was awarded to Godoy Cruz and none other than their goalkeeper stood up to take it. I mean, just look how happy he was running back. Well, that's something I wasn't expecting to see, a goalkeeper taking a penalty and scoring. Unbelievable. Some goal shot from outside the box, straight into the top corner. That's Arsenal back, two on ahead. After that ridiculous goalkeeper penalty from Godoy Cruz, two under the Arsenal. So that's 2 2 now. Scrappy goal to concede. Still 50 minutes ago, so let's see if Arsenal can get that winner. Literally 10 seconds after I spoke the last time, Godoy Cruz have gone and scored a third. It's like 3 2 to Godoy Cruz. Not looking good for Arsenal, but there's still time. Finished 3 2 here to go to Cruz. That's another defeat for Arsenal. But it's still been a great experience for myself being here and watching Arsenal in Argentina. You know, I've been to the Arsenal ground many times. Used to actually work as a steward for Arsenal at the Emirates. And obviously, this is a different experience. Same name of a club, but all halfway across the world. So it's been a great experience in that regard but as we always say here make sure to like the video and share it as much as possible and as well subscribe to the Partido where we have much more content from the Spanish-speaking football and world in the near future and as always nos vemos in the next video